You know, I never know when to use ojalá and when I can use espero. Any rules? That, that's that's a, that's a good question, Carol. Um, I would say this, and someone else may say something different. But in in the in the if I'm speaking in the present, like if I say, which is something I say all the time when I don't want to go to another department, I say, I hope they don't call me. You know, I can say, espero, <laughs> yeah. espero que no me llamen, or oh, ojalá no me llamen, or ojalá que no me llamen. But if I'm when I'm speaking in in, in the past. I usually use ojalá, ojalá. Ojalá no me hubieran llamado. Yes. I hope they wouldn't call me. No. Like, I, yeah, I wouldn't use esperar in the in the past the same way that I use ojalá, but in the present, it's different. Uh, but in general, Tano, you can use either one. Espero que, ojalá que. Okay? Mm -hmm. It won't change the meaning. Okay. Or everybody will understand what you're saying. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. <laughs> yes. All right. Hopefully it doesn't rain this afternoon. Right. And it may or may not rain, right? Okay, there you go. All right. And, and just for that one, if I'm thinking hopefully, I, automatically I go to ojalá in my mind, you know, but if I'm using, but if I'm thinking I hope then ojalá or, or espero, but uh, uh, you can still, you can still just like Ana said, you can use either one. No. Okay. Hope they can help no. go she gets better oh, price. Better now price. this one's more like a, a, a wish. See, o, ojalá is kind of, you know, it's there's a little fine line Better sometimes. Negociado. Negociado. Un mejor. Okay, well, we all know a better price, right? It ends with a... <laughs> so that's how it finishes, right? And Bryce just said, I wish. So the question is the middle part there. What's that middle part? Ubiera. I... Bryce's, I would put in. It would, would have. Maybe it could would have, have. Would have. Would have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of those ones that works. In, in this case, it works either way for I wish I had or I wish I would have. My recommendation is to really focus in this particular structure. I will have because in Spanish, we say that type of sentence is a lot. Ojalá hubiera hecho esto. Ojalá hubiera hecho que. So it's important to learn that hubiera something. So you're probably pretty familiar. Most of you are probably pretty familiar with haber in the present tense. Um, e, as, a, hemos, uh -huh. an, that. Nice. Structure I I have or have you has estado have you been right a estado I have been you're familiar with that if you can get just as comfortable with the hubiera part of that haber verb go ahead and have a look at a conjugation table and I don't recommend that very often but this is one instance where it helps to stare at the con conjugation table for haber. Um, I think that's a good exercise for that word. Ojalá hubiera. I wish I had, or I wish I would have. For the, for the Spanish speakers, I wish I had, and I wish I would have. Very similar meaning. Um, technically, they're different, but as far as what it implies, it's very similar. Okay, I wish I had more time to study. And then I can't help it, Bryce, I got to put this in here. <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay. God. All right, let's try and get those. You're incorrigible. <laughs> let's see. Okay. I wish I Ojalá. had more time to study. Ojalá que uh, tuviera. Must tiempo. Para or um, estudiar. Is it para or yeah. estudiar? Okay, para, I wasn't sure. Para, yeah. I wasn't sure. That's good. Tiempo That's good. para estudiar. Very good. Versus. 
yesterday, I wish I had had more time to study. Um, can I just ask a quick question for that? Can you say deseo as well for um, I wish? Desearia. 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 Okay, but notice that the verb conjugation changes. Mm -hmm. um. Desearia tener versus tuviera. Cool? Okay. All right. Anna is going to help us with this. I wish I had had. There we go. And yeah. I, 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 because remember up I, here, I said, no. I, I would so have, okay. see how up here I said, I would have is the same as I had, or it's very similar, very close. So down here, this one is very similar to, I wish I would have had more time to study, right? How common is that one I had had? It's it, common. I think I think maybe I would have had is more is more common than I had had. What do you think? I would yes, it's it's easier and so we use it more. Yeah. Uh, it's easier I will have. Well, so um no. <laughs> we no. Uh, I wish I had had. I wish I had had. It is, it is very common, and okay. like, okay. we yeah, well, hear it. We common. do hear it all the time. I wish I had had more time. Okay, um, and that's. I think that's easier than we'll have. <laughs> this than would have the two heads. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Ojalá no fuera tan grosera. Don't be so gross. That's a that's a it's, false it's friend, rude. Chet. <laughs> it's that's rude. A false friend. <laughs> Don't be so rude. <laughs> Well, ojalá. Ojalá is not a command. It's not an imperative. It's well, uh, okay. Sorry, I meant to say. Um, yeah. Past tense. I wish. And then look at the, look at grosera. That'll tell you whether it's a. Oh, Dios se fea. Wish he had events for me. Fuera, I think it is, wasn't. No fuera. Okay, I'll see. it's killing me. I wish she wasn't. <laughs> no, are you? Um, I do have a question. Are you using uh fuera because it's oh, a description of uh, but you're using is that it because it's a description because of some how someone is? Well, it's a wish that someone of someone yeah. to be different. Yeah. So what does grosera yeah, I mean? I, I mean, realize it's a wish, but you're using fuera as, as opposed to another you, verb you could use. So you I'm just wondering use, if it's... Well, you have to I always get, like, I, I, when I hear fue, I, I always got to think about it. And I'm like, oh, oh, are you using it? Because, you know, there's a description of someone or when I could use, you know, I can use another verb. So, and then, you know, when you're using estava, estuvo... Fue, you know, somebody throws fue in there, you're like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I always think, okay, well, we're using that because as opposed to another verb that would be better, in my opinion, in mi opinion, which is, I well, think I that's know. also something else, but um, yeah. So I think, you know, sometimes it gets confusing and then so, you, you think about why you need to use fue. And I always do that as opposed to using, you know, Estaba or, or what other other verb I could probably use. So. Yep, we all have those doubts sometimes. Yep, <laughs> but keep powering through. So, what does grosera mean? Uh, rude. rude, rude. Okay, so what are we saying? Is this person just naturally inherently rude, or was she rude for a particular moment? She was rude. Don't know. Relationship. Really don't know. You have no Basically. idea. You, when you say she uh, wish this person wasn't so rude, you're kind of call it. I mean, you could call it. You could be for a certain situation, but you kind of calling a person just a rude person. I think, but someone think else so may too. have a different opinion. Yeah, compare <laughs> this. I wish she, she wasn't, wasn't so, so rude. Versus, okay. I like that better. Carol, do you make a distinction between those two sentences? I wasn't I, yes. I would probably say. Okay. So wasn't so rude, weren't so rude. Which is which? Well, she I would think I wish she wasn't so rude is that it's a personality trait. Uh-huh. 
and weren't so rude might have been at the party yesterday. Yeah. I wish she wasn't, wish she weren't so rude. Yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's, that's a what I was thinking, but I, you know what? I don't. Again, yeah. it's high level. It, this is high level English, right? So, high level English as well. Yeah. Okay. Number 30. <laughs> this is fantastic, Bryce. This is so oh, useful. Geez. All of these. Oh my God. I can. I wish you were here. I mean, could there be a more important sentence? No, there's no more important <laughs> sentence. I'll Great try finish. it. Great finish. Great <laughs> finish. I'll, I'll okay. try it unless somebody's it. dying to go do ahead. it. Gladys, go ahead. Okay. Uh, me gustaría, the next, the next two words I'm not sure about. I know it'll end in a p. Ah, okay. Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay. Uh, es, estuvieras? No. Yes. Estuvieras, yes. that's right. Oh, <laughs> yay. Wow, 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 wow. Aquí. Okay. Excellent. Excellent way to finish this. Hey, I want to um, add. I want to add one thing real, real quick. Uh, go. Yeah. Um, because it was 30, I rounded off at 30. I didn't want to put 31, you know, mess with anybody's, you know, OC uh -huh. for having, you know, an even. Uh -huh. <laughs> and who are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking no, about me? No, 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 no. I just. Or you know, Anna. 31, 30, 31 is a little weird, but. But I just wanted to throw in there that another popular one is with poder. You know, I wish I could. You know, I wish I could help you. Ojalá pudiera ayudarte, pero no puedo, for example. Mm -hmm. But ojalá I wish pudiera, I could help you. Is, you know, that's ojalá pudiera, ojalá tuviera, ojalá fuera, no fuera. You know. mm -hmm. Well, that's a good one. So I, I have one question about one word before we end. Mm -hmm. Sucedido is mm -hmm. what part of speech is that? Because I usually with happened, I use the verb. Part you know, of Like que pasó, that kind of thing. So um, I forget if it was in like item two or three. Do you there remember it is. what number that was? Yes, 23. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. a adjective or an adverb it's, what is it's it? the participle like uh -huh. asado or like we use some with some of those we, that we just did like echo uh mm -hmm. uh asado uh comido um oh, okay mm -hmm. okay so the, the underlying verb is suceder mm -hmm. and then the participle is sucedido does that help yes thank okay. you all right, great. Bryce, this is just fantastic. Good job, Anna. Bryce. <clears throat> Good job, Anna. I didn't right. do anything. James <laughs> did you. everything. Yeah. yeah, look at all this. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you when, so when much. Will this, be available? this is just amazing uh, that you guys. When will it do this? When will it be yeah, available? Like be in available? like two minutes, probably, if probably Anna. So. Yeah, check the WhatsApp group. I bet Anna posts it there before we even say goodbye. Fantastic practice. All right, I am going to stop sharing. Good job. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was fantastic. Um, okay, so Carol asked if we could do this again next week. Uh, do you the all same, want to... Same sentences all over again. <laughs> 1 through 30 again? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, look at that. Anna's already posted this into the WhatsApp group. Okay, so Hi. it's there already. Uh, Julie, if you want to go check that. No, um, I actually say that. would love to do subjunctive again. I I only I've only kind of got through the present subjunctive, and so a lot of this is is very helpful to me because I'm 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 learning as everybody else is learning. This is fantastic. Thank you, Great. Bryce and James. Now I, I do want to say you're welcome. I do want to say that there are other little structures with with the subjunctive since we you know since we jumped into it we might as well kind of touch on all of them but you know we couldn't do every single structure in you know in one meeting but there are some other structures with conditional versus the the past subjunctive um uh yeah so yes this this is a good subject it's it, it's wide ranging but it's a it's good uh-huh and important yes it's important, important. Um, so we're doing this again next week? 
<laughs> it appears that we might, but maybe Seems not like an hour and a half. It might be the consensus. It might That's be right. consensus. <laughs> That's right. It's up to you guys, uh, if if you like, for sure. Um, we might go back to an hour, but we did want to get through a lot uh, today on this one, so we went over a bit. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Gracias. Thank you. Thank Okey you for your dokey. <laughs> yeah. Adios. All right. Have Adios. a great night. Um, have a great week. Keep practicing. Try and use these with your practice partners if you need any help uh, with Connect or with anything to do with practicing with somebody. Let us know. Uh, but we are here. Oh. Okay. Have a great night. Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye.